Hi everyone, welcome to part 7 of the series of videos that I have been making on ship's master oral exam preparation. If you have not watched the previous six videos, then the links to those videos are in the description section below. In these series of videos, I take up a couple of questions. Most of it, them are related to one another and I provide you a short answer to it. Short enough and yet detailed enough for you to provide the similar answer to your examiner or surveyor and impress them with your knowledge. So let's get started. So in today's video, the first question is explain in detail the purpose and function of a classification society in the construction of a new vessel. Now you'll be surprised to know that uh, this question has actually been asked not only of a master candidate but a second mid candidate on a separate occasion as well. So irrespective of whether you're going for second mates, chief mates or ship's master examination, I think knowledge of this video will be useful for you. So to answer this question, you have to know that once a vessel's plan has been approved, the classification society will be represented at the dockyard or the building yard or the shipyard virtually all of the time, right from the stage when the keel is laid to when the vessel is delivered to the ship owners. Representatives of the classification society will ensure that a vessel is built exactly in compliance with their published rules and regulations which cover every aspect of a ship's construction. The intention of the classification society is to ensure that ships built under their supervision are entirely suitable to engage in their intended trade. The rules of the classification society are developed to contribute to the structural strength and integrity of essential parts of the ship's hull and its appendages and the reliability and the function of the propulsion and steering systems including power generation and other features such as auxiliary systems which have been built into the ship in order to maintain essential services on board for the purpose of safe operations. A follow-up question to this question is what is the latest point in a proposed ship's construction that the society or the classification society must become involved. So like I've told you before, the first involvement of a classification society with a new vessel must not be later than the planning stage of the vessel. So right when the proposed contract plan is provided to the chosen classification society for approval or for any kind of potential modifications, prior to the contract being signed, that is the stage from which the class becomes involved with the ship's construction. Right? And finally, the last question for today's video, because I want to keep these videos short, otherwise it becomes a bit long and boring, just like some of my other videos, is what is the maximum period of validity of a certificate of class? So a classification society on their satisfaction issues your certificate of class which has to be kept with the master as becomes part of the ship certificates. The validity of that certificate is of course five years. In a separate video, I'll also talk about how you maintain the certificate of class, what kind of surveys a vessel has to go through. So watch out for that video. Uh, it will be most likely be the next video. So thank you for watching today's video and let me know what you think about these videos and whether this format is useful for your learning or not. Bye for now.